Hi everybody, we're here at SIGGRAPH 2024 and I'm here with Alex from Looking Glass. And I'm familiar with uh, a lot of your different models. I think that the first one I acquired was one of the larger ones back in 2019 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, one of the first 20... batches, yeah. And so you've got a new set of screens here and um, tell me more about them, what's, what's going on? Yeah, so this is the Looking Glass 16 inch here and then the 32 inch as well. Um, these are two holographic displays, so what we mean when we say holographic is group viewable 3D, no headgear required, no eye tracking, nothing like that. You just walk up to it, you can see 3D content in a group. Um, and the content we're running is a new partnership that we're doing with NVIDIA. It's powered by NVIDIA's Maxine pipeline, which is really what they're doing at the forefront of telecommunication, digital presence. Uh, so on our 16 inch here, we have some images that are generated from a single RGB image, so no depth data natively. All that is, in ge is generated by the AI algorithm. Uh, and then on the 32 inch, we're showing a live video feed of that same algorithm, slightly lower resolution, but running real time. So kind of showing the quality that we're able to get and the current implementation, which is live data. And yeah, that's kind of the direction we're going with NVIDIA's team. 3D display, showing 3D people is really what we're aiming for. So, uh, you know, it's group viewable, and so there could be multiple people. Each of them are seeing two different images That's in right. each eye, or I've also noticed that if I'm using one personally, I can move my head around the yeah. thing and actually see around behind something. Yeah. And so, do you want to share a little bit about how that's achieved? Sure, so how we do that is, if you think of a normal screen as emitting a single view, and a VR headset as having one view for each eye, we emit between 45 and 100 views from our displays at a time. And what that means is that each of your eyes gets a different perspective on the same content, which is how you get stereoscopic vision. And as you move from left to right, you get different perspectives. You're kind of moving around the objects. You're seeing different sides of it. And that gives you parallax. And that's really the core of how our technology works. And that's why you can stand at different angles beside somebody and see the content together. And then you're using the NVIDIA solution mm -hmm. to add depth to something that's two-dimensional. So you yeah. can use, I see on this monitor, for example, you've got a monoscopic video camera, right. but it's able to use NVIDIA's technology to generate a three-dimensional context for what it's seeing. Yeah, that's right. So we really want to make it more accessible to have 3D content in front of you. So that's why we try to have a range of displays starting with the Go that's accessible for, for hobbyist creators, artists at, at like 300 bucks. Um, and then similarly with the capture content, you don't have to have a complicated rig, you just have to have a standard 2D webcam, the webcam on your laptop, any off the shelf Amazon webcam will do. And because it can use these algorithms in the back end to generate the 3D content from that single monocular view, uh, it just makes the content creation pipeline so much easier for creators and opens up the door for things like telecommunication with off-the-shelf uh, hardware in the future. And so finally, I imagine you know there, there's a suite of tools that come with the hardware itself, but yeah. you also have plugins for most of the popular game engines? Yeah, that's right. We have plugins for Unity, Blender, Unreal, and uh, we have a library for WebXR. Uh, and we also just released a new native SDK for low-level programming. So if you want to build a custom renderer, in OpenGL or DirectX or Vulkan, uh, we have functionality for that as well. And if anyone sees this video and wants to learn more, where would they go? Lookingglassfactory.com. Awesome. Thank you so much, Alex. I really appreciate the time. Thank you. And until next time, have fun.